तो हाय गाइस सो ऑन द पॉपुलर डिमांड यू पीपल वर आस्किंग हाउ टू प्रोसीड फॉर द आईएनआईसीटी नवंबर 2023 नाउ आई नो देयर आर सम पीपल हु हैव गिवन द आईएनआईसीटी दिस मे एंड दे आर नॉट रियली सेटिस्फाइड विद देयर स्कोर provided there was uh, some silly mistakes or that day that paper was not as good for them or maybe this was not their best shot and the second group of people who want to try because for this may paper they were not eligible and now they want to try and they want to give their best shot in november 2020 Three. So for both of you, I think this will be a plan that you will, you people were looking for. You will get a direction. You will get the strategy, and you will also get the ample practice. Now, see, guys, how actually we have worked. Uh, roughly, if you start your preparation from first of June, twenty twenty three, and your paper is uh, in November, okay? So we do not know the exact date. So we are having the time till thirtieth of October, twenty twenty three, and this gives me roughly about one fifty days, and that one fifty days, if you utilize in a fruitful manner, in your best. manner right then you can create wonders and you can get a result that you all were looking for now how that is a very good and very big question and for this you have to divide this 150 days very very effectively and very very efficiently so for this i have divided your 150 days into three parts provided that you do every day whatever i am to, uh, telling you to do you are going to see that these fun 50 days are going to give you the most desired result because three times reading is actually sufficient and required for your final paper so the first revision of 70 days second 50 days and then 30 days now after 30th october also you will have about 10 to 15 days because usually paper is in mid of the november so that period you can utilize again for uh, your revision of your volatiles the images as well as the pyqs now if you see your first revision which i considered for 70 days now what happens we have different kind of subjects which require different amount of days and though everybody has his or her volatile and may require different quantity of days i think i have divided this in a quite effective manner which will suit to you all and you can take it as it is also so the eight subjects we are going to take for 3 days now these eight subjects are the subjects which are actually very very large okay so any eight subjects you can take a uh, usually you know it will be medicine it will be surgery it will be obg it will be patho right then we have pharma we have got the psm like these kind of subjects these are your six subjects okay so like these kind of subjects which actually requires more time okay you can also include two more subjects to it which you require you think that require more time like you can also add anatomy to it okay so we have anatomy we have got surgery we have opg we have a uh, path we have got a uh, pharma that also require now what you can do you can combine your medicine as well as uh, the pharma and patho along with it okay so when you are doing it combined this will give you a integrated studies and that will again help you like anything so uh, anatomy physio and bio chemistry okay so you can also take the physiology along with it so we have a total of eight subjects 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now these eight subjects you can give three days and uh, why i have taken these subjects because you know if even if you are missing something in medicine you are doing pat you are doing pharma you are doing physiology you have covered about 70 to 80% of the medicine and that forms the basics okay that forms the basics of the medicine you have to give 3 days each 
okay now then we have got five subjects which are intermediate subjects in this intermediate uh, variety uh, like we can have the subjects like um, the ofta then we have got ent we have got the pediatrics so uh, we have got uh, biochem also okay then we have got the biochem and then we have got the micro now there is a plus and minus between this micro and physiology i have added physio here because it is form forming a basis of the medicine if you uh, are comfortable with the physiology instead of this micro you can exchange with the physiology and you can give three days for the micro and 2.5 days for physio that is upon you so these are the intermediate subjects i cannot say they are small but i cannot say that they are large so you can take two to two and a half days and then finally uh, we have got these six subjects now these six subjects are really small subjects we have skin anesthesia we have got radio then we have psychiatry uh, orthopedics is there fm is there right these are the six subjects which are very very small so according to me these are your large subjects these are the intermediate subjects plus minus micro and then we have got the small subjects and i have given you three days for la large subjects 2.5 days for the intermediate subjects and one and a half day we are taken for the small subjects Ma'am, this time is so less. How can we do the PYQs, the questions? So see here. Now, if you add them, it comes to about 40.5 days. When you add this, 8 into 3, 24. 5 into 2.5 is 7.5. And 6 into 1.5 is 9 days. This comes to about 40.5. So see, let's say 19 days I have given for your uh, MCQs. Now, if you have done most of the MCQs before, you can concentrate more on the PYQs, but they have to include the PYQs, right? Every day, you can allow some time to do the PYQs and the MCQs or in the last also, whatever suits you best, you can add the completion of a subject when you have taken three days, 2.5 day or 1.5 day, whole one day also you can do the questions. Now this again depends upon you. Some people are comfortable daily, like 70% um, they can do the theory, 30% you can do the questions or after completion of 100% of the subject, one day I can give to the questions. So 19 full day I have given you for the questions. This comes to about 59.5, so approximately 60 days. Now, in this period of 60 days, that is equal to your two months. Two months is eight weeks. So, every week you have to give the GT. This is a star. This is very, very important. Now, I am not telling you to be defensive. Okay, when you want, you give the GT. You can start giving the GT after three weeks, two weeks. No, you have to be aggressive. You are preparing and you have to see yourself again and again. You have to uh, analyze your preparation and you have to give test every week. I know in the beginning, you are uh, fearful. You are having doubt that you will not get a good score because you are not having the complete preparation. This was your first revision no problem at all no problem just make one more notebook make a 20th notebook note down which test you have given what is the score uh, where did you get the lacunae which subjects were weak and try to work more on these subjects in your second revision and then you have to analyze week after week you are going to improve so uh, eight days again i am giving you so this comes to about 68 days and plus two days extra we are keeping now these two days are extra because one day suppose we are not feeling like um uh, studying or we are not feeling well or something you know so within a uh, period of two months i can we can afford two days on which we are not very much studying so we are taking that two days extra and that makes your first revision of 70 days so i hope it's very very clear and very much doable see plans are good which are doable also because if i make something which is not doable then there is uh, you know no use of it and the whole idea gets uh, actually lost then uh, uh, look at the second revision. Now, second revision consists of the 50 days. Now, the subjects will remain same. That 8 subjects, 5 subjects and 6 subjects. Now, instead of 3 days, instead of 3 days, now we have given 2. From 2.5, we have come to 1.5. And then from uh, 1.5, we have come to 1 now. So, this comes to about 8 into 2, 16 days. 
5 into 1.5, 7.5 and 6 into 1, 6. This makes 29.5. So see, again, we have done one more revision in about 30 days. So in one month period, in the previous two months, that was your first reading, you took time and now you have again completed your one more revision and not only one more revision of the theory, you have also done one more revision of your MCQs. So we have completed one more revision of MCQs. Now this time I am not giving you 19 days for the 19 subject, but still I am giving many days, 16 days. So almost, almost, almost uh, one day per each uh, for very, very small subjects like we have got skin, anesthesia, radio, psychiatry. So these subjects you can do in half of days. Okay. So for this, we can utilize, okay, we can utilize two days for this and uh, the remaining, remaining 15 subjects you are having your one day each only. So like this, you can do the MCQs in these 16 days. And again, now within a period of this 29.5 or 30 days, we have four weeks. And again, I want to you to give the GT every week. You may reduce the time for these MCQs, but you have to give the GTs and make sure that you are reviewing your GT same day. Because I cannot afford uh, to give you more than one day for a GT. So whatever day you are giving the GT, three hours may you are getting it completed, you are relaxing also, then also you have whole of the day. And then even on that day, one or two hours, you can utilize for these MCQs the day that was uh, falling law less. So even these four GT days also you have. So you have got these four days also extra. These four days are also extra. So whichever subject was not able to be covered in these 16 days, you can cover them. Okay. And finally, we come to the third revision. Now third revision consists of again one month that is 30 days. So what you have to do here, 19 subjects and 19 days, you have to do the high yield topics. Now you have already prepared your 20th notebook from so many GTs. You have already given the 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 GTs. You have already given 12 GTs and you have made that, um, and you have made that 20th notebook. Okay. And you have made this 20th notebook. Now, if you see the previous one, what we were doing, we were, uh, dividing it into the 30 days and then we were giving the 16 days for the MCQs and then GT every week. Now in the uh, third revision, what I am trying to say that you have 30 days. Now in these 30 days, 19 days means one day each you have to do the high yield topics. The topics that you saw more were there in the PYQs, the topics that were difficult for you for the GTs, only those topics you have to do, not everything. Okay, so that is not possible in one day. And then daily PYQs. Now from the MCQs, we have just focused on the PYQs and the PYQ topics. And that is the one thing that you have to focus towards the last. Plus, don't forget to do your wipe. Images play an important role, especially in uh, uh, certain subjects like ophthalmology. So I would say that if you are revising from the wipe booklet, that will again help you like anything because that is a kind of a mini revision of all the subjects in just three to four hours. You are done with the uh, surgery, you are done with the pathology, you are done with the uh, uh, the OBG, you are done with the ophthalmology. So I think that is the best way of revising the subject. And now again, you have to give the GT every week and that is four. Now, this is what I'm saying that you have to give, this is minimum, but you can give even alternate day also. Even alternate day, if you are confident enough with your theory and you had already prepared for the May 2023 and you can afford the time, you can take out the time, then even alternate day, even uh, two times a week, you can also give. That's your choice. Now, on the other hand, if you are feeling a low, you are that kind of a person who feels low when you see the low GT score. Um, you are not able to convince yourself that's not that's not a problem you will do well then I would say okay don't give so many GTs then oh, only focus on your mistakes that you have done before see your 20th notebook see your volatile see the PYQ see the PYQ topic so you have to you know manage accordingly so that 20th notebook is again very very important so uh, this was um, one uh, small try that I do uh, to divide the 150 days to give you a direction, a roadmap of these 150 days because, you know, 
time is going to pass no matter you are studying or you are not studying so make sure that you are studying and making best use of it and for any queries regarding this strategy or any other thing you can always message me uh, you can follow me on insta you can message me on as a direct message on telegram you can join the telegram group there we are doing a lot of uh, academic activities daily quizzes going on all the best guys happy ophthalmology